Networks are increasingly more complex. Looking into a network system today, whether it's a data center network or the internet or even a lo local network in a campus, network tends to be complicated both in terms of the topology and the stateful network functions that are deployed on top of these networks. As such a complicated system, networks are prone to all, all sorts of bugs. And as more mission critical applications are relying on these networks, uh, bugs are getting more intolerable due to their high costs. So in order to rely on these networks, we need to be able to formally verify them. In recent years, there have been lots of, lots of exciting work in, the, in network verification, and they mainly fall in three categories. The first group consists of the works that enable verification on a single static snapshot of the data plane. The properties in this category would be, is a point reachable from another? HSA and Veriflow are among the famous works in this category. Another property could be, does a path traverse a waypoint such as a firewall? The second group targets dynamic verification of a data plane targets not only a static snapshot of a data plane, but it also uh, considers changes in that layer through time. Example property in this category would be, is a host still reachable after a link failure? Finally, same reachability properties are verified on the control plane by tools such as Minesweeper. Unfortunately, all these approaches target different fl flavors of only one specific type of properties, reachability. Is point A reachable from point B? This leaves out an important class of properties for critical network functions, namely liveness. This class of properties is mainly expressed as something desirable eventually happens. For example, in a stateful firewall, a liveness property would be a malicious host eventually getting blocked or in an intrusion detection system that monitors the network for malicious activity and prevents such activity, a property could be observation of the fingerprint of a backdoor application should lead to that host being blocked. Or in a UDP flood mitigation function, a host sending more packets than a threshold should lead to that host being blocked. To rely on these mission critical functions, operators need to verify liveness properties as well. But unfortunately, verification of liveness properties is challenging. So the question is, what makes liveness verification challenging? Intuitively, verifying liveness is challenging because it is always possible for the good thing to happen in the future. Liveness properties reason about progress and concern the succession of events in dynamic systems. Therefore, they cannot be verified on a static snapshot of the system. To verify dynamic systems, we model them as transition systems, but for stateful network functions, this approach may result in state space explosion. It is computationally expensive and sometimes even impossible. If this figure is overwhelming, well, that is exactly the point, and it is only part of a transition system for a network consisting of only 10 nodes. In this work, we show that liveness verification is possible using a top-down approach. To this end, we provide a simple familiar abstraction of one big switch for users to write their desired functions, such as firewall and intrusion detection system. We then model the behavior of these functions as compact Boolean packetless formulas that can be efficiently verified. And finally, we provide a compiler that compiles these functions into executable codes that can be installed in the network. Now, let me show you each part. The one big switch abstraction is a unified abstraction for both control plane and the data plane that connects all hosts and uh, conceptually handles every packet. This abstraction is very similar to an SCN switch with a set of rules that each rule has a match field, uh, action field, and priority. To enable programming stateful network functions, we augment this uh, abstraction in, dif in two different dimensions. First, we allow rules to be updated by the execution of add and delete actions, and then we allow actionable measurements, in which we allow rules to collect traffic statistics and act upon packets based on these statistics. To further, 
to further improve programmability um, and verification time, we also apply some other optimizations, such as declarative routing. Our augmented one big switch and abstraction enables us to program a variety of network functions, such as firewall, UDP flood mitigation, and uh, the list that you can see. It also enables fast and efficient verification, as I will show you in a few minutes. And as I mentioned before, we can compile these functions to actual codes that P4 switches can execute. Now let me show you how we can program an ID, IDS, and later I will show you how efficiently we can verify these functions. Suppose we have an IDS with a set of rules that if A receives a connection on port one, and then A connects to an FTP server and then tries to co connect to a private database, then A is a Trojan and should be blocked. We can model this, uh, we can program this function using these uh, rules. Uh, initially, two rules are present in the network, and if A receives a connection on port one, R3 is executed, and as a result, R2 will be added to the network. In this state, if A sends a packet to F, then as a result of execution of R2, R1 will be added to the set of rules, and, in, and here, if A tries to reach D, as a result of execution of R1, R0 is added, which will block A. Now let's see how we can verify these functions efficiently by encoding the behavior of this function as compact packetless Boolean models. Similar to any distributed system, we can, mo we can model networks using transition systems. The states represent groups of packets and the actions applied to them. The states can also incorporate counters and other variables as well. Transitions in this model are the events that cause policy updates which can change the forwarding state of the net. Atomic propositions are H and A pairs that hold in a state if action A applies to all the packets in H. For example, all the traffic destined to A on port one is sent holds in this state. Properties are temporal operators plus atomic propositions. For example, eventually A is reachable. This is similar to the approach taken by Kinetic. Unfortunately, this approach of modeling does not scale as it results in state space explosion. To address this challenge, we encode the behavior of the network function as compact Boolean models that abstract away the notion of packets and focuses only on rules. Furthermore, we model rules, rules in the most compact form as Boolean variables. More com concretely, we model the system as a packetless transition system with these Boolean variables of rules. In the packetless model, the Boolean variable of a rule is true if the rule is installed in the network and false otherwise. The, trans the actions in this model are the execution of add and delete actions, um, which can change the forwarding behavior of the network. Let me show you a partial view of the packetless model of the IDS example that I showed earlier. In the initial state, rules R3 and R4 are true, and as a result of execution of R3, the system will transition into a new state in which R2 is set to true. Despite being more efficient for verification, packetless models pose a few challenges. As we saw, properties are defined on packets and the actions applied on them. In a model that abstracts away the notion of packets, how can we define properties? To address this challenge, we design formulas to express properties as Boolean formulas of rules. To do so, we sort rules based on their decreasing priority, and then we define this recursive function k that is true if the list of rules apply the action a to the packets in H, and false otherwise. Let me show you how we build k. Starting with the highest priority rule, we first see if the rule matches some packets in H. If this is true for some packets, then we see if the action of the rule is A. If this is the case, either our I is in the network, and for K to be true, the rest of the rules must apply the action to the packets that our I does not match, or our I is not in the network, and the rest of the rules must apply A to H. 
and we repeat the process for the rest of the rules. If the action of the rule is not A, then for K to be true, R must not be in the network, and the rest of the rules must apply A to H. And we repeat the process for the rest of the rules. And for the case that our I does not match any packets in H, the rest of the rules must apply A to H. I know this process looks complex, but what it tries to achieve is to encode properties as Boolean formulas on rules. For example, for the IDS example that I showed earlier, for the property that the traffic sent from I will eventually reach E, we apply the cases as shown and reach the result of not R0 and R4. This means that the property for this IDPS function holds in the states that this Boolean formula is true. You can see this in the partial transition system of this function. Second challenge is how do we incorporate traffic statistics such as counter semantics in the packetless model that uses only Boolean variables for rules. At a high level, we apply predicate abstraction to encode counter semantics using only Boolean variables for rules. This enables us to verify stateful network functions such as a campus monitor that is shown in this slide. But unfortunately, I won't have enough time to go through the details of this. But please check the paper for the details. We implemented our system, which provides two APIs for the, re for the user, one to program their desired functions on the von big switch abstraction, and another for specifying the desired properties. The verification engine then takes these two as inputs and verifies the network as modeling verifies the function as by modeling it as compact packetless Boolean formulas. The verification engine then gives back the results to the user either in form of a counterexample or the guarantee that the property holds for the, the functions. The compiler then compiles the function into the executable data plane program and control program of one switch. A network virtualization tool such as OVX can then implement this one switch into the network. To both test the expressiveness of our abstraction and measure the overhead of the compiled code, we implemented, our, we implemented a large set of functions as it is shown here. And uh, in our experiments, we replay a packet trace of a university data center uh, with over 100,000 packets and 1,800 IP addresses for these functions, and we measure the frequency of calling the controller. This overhead is modest uh, for all these functions, as it is somewhere between 0 and 0.3%. And as it is shown in the paper, the compilation time for all these functions are within a few milliseconds. We also measured the verification times of different properties for different functions, and we compared our uh, approach with a, packet with a naive packet-based approach, so, such as the one from, uh, similar to the one that I showed uh, from Kinetic. Our results demonstrate that packet packetless model is faster than the packet-based model for the verification of both uh, safety and liveness properties. This plot demonstrates the median verification time uh, for verifying uh, a leads to property in a flood mitigation function with respect to the size of the network. The property in this case is uh, a host sending more packets than a threshold should lead to that host being blocked. This other plot shows the same measurements for verifying a safety property, universality, in a um, in a stateful firewall function. The property in this case is A is always reachable. To conclude, we showed verifying complex properties such as liveness is feasible by applying a top-down approach that rethinks the network abstractions with the efficiency of verification in mind and encodes the network state as compact Boolean packetless model. Some interesting opportunities for future work would be 
uh, designing higher level abstractions for liveness verification and further reducing the complexity of verification of these functions. Thank you, and I'm happy to take questions. Uh, this is Yifei Yuan from Intentional. Uh, my question is about uh, the pocketless model. Uh, how can you handle transit behaviors in your network, such as a pocket may experience two snapshots? Um, why do, what do you mean by two snapshots exactly? Oh, yeah, so it seems like in your pocket, pocketless model, you model a snapshot after a uh, in particular scenarios, you can, a snapshot can be transitioned to another snapshot, right? So what if a pocket uh, experienced two snapshot? Could that happen in your, in your model? Uh, no, we actually abstract away from the snapshots and we consider the changes in the uh, behavior of the system, so. So do you do not consider the pockets at all? I mean, uh, as I showed in the verification part of the, in the encoding of the properties, we consider packets, but we don't consider the snapshots of the system by, I don't know if I answered your questions. Okay, let, let, let's talk, talk about it more. Okay. Time for one more question. I'll ask one question. Um, I'm curious, so liveness properties generally, there are, there are many more things you can prove with liveness than just uh, safety. It tends to expand the, the predicate language. But were there properties that you wanted to be able to prove that you were unable to prove, even with this sort of richer system? Uh, yeah, actually, we have uh, verified uh, a subset of liveness properties, which is uh, re really useful in the stateful networks, but uh, there are some other properties in liveness that we haven't actually approached yet. Great. Let's thank our speaker.